Hello, and thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, I'm going to be making a Greek style kind of lasagna called pastizio. I'm sure I butchered the name. Let me know how I'm supposed to pronounce it down below. And I'm going to be using the Primo Oval XL. It's going to be awesome. Let's get going. All right, now pastizio is this layered baked pasta dish with meat sauce and a lot of cheese. I mean, what is not to like? We're gonna start off by making the meat sauce. I have my pan preheated to a medium high heat. Add a little bit of olive oil here. And right here I have two medium onions that I have finely minced. Get those into the pan. I'm just gonna start sauteing these until they soften up. All right, it's looking good. Now I'm going to add 25 ounces of ground beef. Get this all broken up here. A little bit of sea salt. All right, as you can see, the meat is really starting to mix up now with the onion, it's starting to brown. I'm going to add two cloves of minced garlic here. And one tablespoon of tomato paste. Okay, as you can see, that tomato paste is incorporated throughout. Now I'm going to add just about six ounces of red wine. I'm using a Cabernet Sauvignon, but you can use whatever red wine you want. I'm going to mix this up really well. And I'm going to allow this to simmer until the wine evaporates. Okay, wine's evaporated. Now what I have here is one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna to add those. One stick of cinnamon, one whole clove, and a whole bay leaf. I'm going to go ahead and get these mixed in. Okay, we've brought this up to a boil. I'm going to turn the heat down to a simmer. Now I'm going to put the lid on. And we're going to allow this to simmer for about 30 more minutes. All right, it's been about 30 minutes, and as you can see, most of the liquid's gone. Now I did try this just a couple seconds ago and it does need some adjusting with the seasoning. I'm going to add just a little bit more salt. It's right where I want it. We're going to go ahead and set this off to the side and we're going to move on to the next step of this recipe. All right, for the next step in this recipe, we are going to make a bechamel sauce. I have here 3.5 ounces of butter. And it's gonna go in the pan here. We have a medium low heat. I wanna get this butter melted. All right, the butter is melted as you can see. I have here 3.5 ounces of flour, just regular all purpose flour. We get this in here. So you wanna do a one to one ratio when you're making a roux. And I'm going to whisk this until it's a nice paste. It looks good. I have here three and a half cups of warm milk and I'm going to add this in just kind of in increments. It's really important to do it incrementally like this or else you're going to end up with a lumpy sauce. You can see that flour just sucks it right in. Okay, as you can see, all the milk has been added. I'm just gonna continue whisking this vigorously to keep the lumps out of it. I want this to reduce a little bit more. We need to make sure we cook this enough to where the flour flavor goes away, but we do not wanna burn this sauce. All right, it's coming along really good. Gave it a little taste. There is no floury taste at all. Turn the heat off. Continue whisking it just a little bit. Okay, I have here two egg yolks. I'm going to just add these in slowly and continue stirring briskly. I do not want these to scramble in the sauce. You can see it's looking really good. Add a nice pinch of salt here. Some freshly cracked pepper. Pinch of nutmeg. 
You know, I have here three and a half ounces of Parmigiano Reggiano grated cheese. Get that in here. It smells fantastic. And I just want to continue stirring this until the cheese is fully melted and we'll move on to the next step, which will be very quick. Then we'll start building this up. Right, I have here four ounces of crumbled feta cheese, two eggs. Let me get this kind of whisked together here. Now I have here 12 ounces of al dente penne pasta. You can use macaroni as the traditional pasta. This is what I had available. Go ahead and dump this in here now. You want to make sure that it's al dente. I cooked this three minutes less than the box called for. We just want to make sure that this gets all nice and incorporated, kind of mushed into these noodles here. All right, that looks good. Now let's build the pastizio. <laughs> right, the first thing I'm going to do is add about one quarter of this bechamel sauce into this meat sauce. All right, I'm using a large cast iron skillet here. I've got it coated with butter. Normally you would use like a lasagna tray, but I'm going for the cool factor and also I think it's gonna add just a really nice crust. So I'm gonna layer the noodle mixture down at the bottom. All right now we're gonna layer on some of that meat sauce. More of the noodle mixture. That meat sauce. The bechamel sauce. And we're going to top it off with some of that grated Parmesan. Looks killer. I have the primo all fired up, ready to go out in the patio, so meet you outside. All right, the primo is preheated to 375 degrees. I have the daisy wheel fully opened. The disc opened up about an inch or so and the bottom vent is open about an inch and a half. I have the heat deflector in. I'm going to place the skillet in the center of the grate here. Close the lid. And we're cooking. I'm expecting this to take probably about 40 minutes or so. What I'm looking for is a nice kind of a bubbly little bit of a crust on top. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, it's been 45 minutes and wait till you see this. bubbly golden deliciousness. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it, take it in the house and let it come back together set just like you would with a lasagna. Then we'll be trying it out. So see you in there. All right, so we've let this set a good 15 minutes and I am dying to try this. So let's get this cut up here. Wow, very hearty. Well, it looks beautiful and wow, it just smells so, so good. Let's give this a try. Wow. First off, I'm a huge, huge lasagna fan. And this is definitely kind of lasagna-esque. But that bechamel sauce is just so, so creamy. And I'm actually picking up little notes of that cinnamon and the nutmeg coming through, which is kind of cool. And I got to tell you, when the camera goes off, I'll be piling this onto a nice piece of French bread and just cram it into my face. Anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by. A huge, huge shout out and a thank you for the folks at Primo Ceramic Grills for making this video possible. Got links to their site, to their Facebook and their YouTube channel down below. Check them out. Check out their channel because there's some exclusive videos that I've done for them over there. I'd appreciate a sub. And uh, special thanks to my buddy, Peter. He's from Greece, and he actually requested that I do this recipe. So thanks, Peter. The recipe that I actually pulled off the web is linked down below as well. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the next video. Opa!